All right, what's up guys? So I just got home and it's currently pouring outside because we're getting over remains of a hurricane. But what we're doing is putting on the diffuser and canards as the title says. But let's stop talking and let's get started. Okay, so update. We have the car up and we're about to take off some of the old stuff, but we're gonna try, to try and get the centerpiece on first um, before we get these little side pieces on. Um, so I'm not really sure what we need to take off on the actual car. Probably gonna take off the chrome tips and this. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. I'm probably gonna take off the chrome tips and this. Maybe not though, because I might leave it on. I'll spray paint the tips if I do have to leave it on because I thought I was gonna have to take it off, but I don't think I will. But we're gonna try and get this going because this little install, it doesn't come with um, instructions. So that's a little funky, but um, yeah, we're just gonna keep going. All right, so we figured out a way to rig it. I'm not sure if it's gonna be low enough height-wise or anything, but I am just using the heat shield um, bolt to put the thing on and then or put the strut on or like the uh, support on then we're gonna go do that one for the other one for the other like support and see how it goes i know it's gonna be very front heavy but hopefully that will not affect it too much because it's a very large thing a very large diffuser or center diffuser and i think that we're gonna have to i think they're about to bolt on like around there and there which I guess isn't terrible, but I'm gonna get one in the future and go to Lowe's and grab one from the back because I don't want to start rattling or moving while I'm driving. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. I mean, it's going pretty good. It's a little, I wish they had instructions, but literally that's the fun of putting this on. So yeah. Okay, so since we filled our holes, and we have it all sort of lined up. We're gonna try to get some some nuts and washers on. Um, a bit of a process with no instructions, but you know what? That's what makes it fun. What we have now is that. You can still see the brackets a little bit and I'm probably gonna black those out and because you can still see that they're not centered. But I really like how that looks. I like how aggressive it looks. I really like, oh my goodness. That's crazy looking, dude. Oh my gosh. So that's with the, um, just the center one on. The side pieces are gonna go on in just a second. Those should go on within like a few seconds. But um, yeah, loving how that looks. Okay, so now that we have the centerpiece on, these side pieces, we're gonna try and put them on now. Well, we are. Um, all these are, I think, are these one bolts with these spacers. So that's why these um, these little screws will go through the spacers and then that will create the gap that that one has. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to drill some holes in these and it'll be looking nice. Okay, so we got this side piece on, but it's super wobbly. So we got some aluminum piping and it's just gonna, all I'm gonna be doing now is just cutting the length of the same stopper for the other side because they only give you one for each side, which is like super jank. So we're gonna try to just cut the same length to this and then just grab more screws that I have and then just use that. So we're gonna cut them really quick and then hopefully we can finish this diffuser up. All right, what's up guys? So we finally finished it about, it probably took around three hours, three, four hours, but I really love how it looks and we're gonna just about lower it, get some, get some videos of it. Um, what I still need to do is um, I still need to black out these because I was gonna get another diffuser to put over them, so I just get straight rid of them, or get rid of them. But I really love how it looks. Um, it makes the car, it's gonna make the car look a lot lower, 
because it's almost like two inches off of the car and then another like maybe five inches that of itself just being closer to the ground. But um, I'm gonna see how close to the car I am. I'm close to the ground I am, but um, it's a little unsymmetrical, which kills me. But I mean, right now I'm just trying to get it on because um, I have school tomorrow, which kind of sucks, but we're gonna lower it, get some pictures and videos of it. And then probably just end the video there because I'm gonna do the canards in another video or just add another one because this video has already started getting long. So we have it on those things now. This little thing's cause like I could not get the jack out, which is kind of a problem. If I do want to lower this car, I might have to bring it up a little bit, but I love, absolutely love how it looks. So we're gonna try to, I don't even really know. I'm gonna be able to get off those. I think I will, but if not, you guys are gonna to witness to see it. So yeah. Guacamole. Look at how good that looks. Even just from the side, dude. In that rattle, if you guys can hear that, that's definitely gonna be gone, because I'm gonna see what that is. But, man, that looks amazing to me. Oh my goodness. But yeah. But I think that's going to conclude the video. Um, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Um, there's definitely gonna be more coming on this diffuser, uh, if I like it or not, if it rattles a lot. But I give it like a solid four, three and a half out of 10. Um, looks great, amazing. Uh, installs a little finicky because um, it doesn't include all the hardware. But if you're up for like a, you know, do it yourself, which I love, um, then I would 100% do this. So thanks for watching, hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. So uh, thanks for watching.